Express any WSPAPERS HTC U11 review. How good is HTC's new flagship? HTC U11 review 699 pounds pros stunning design oozes class very decent bezel free display simply Android Oreo is a joy to use console the Snapdragon 835 processor set to be outed soon no headphone port expensive and not on contract after a couple of torrid years HTC returned to its usual good form in 2017 when it launched the simply stunning U11 flagship with its gorgeous design and fabulous camera the U11 was one of our favorite devices of the year and put HTC firmly back on the smartphone map. Now, on the back of its success, the Taiwanese firm has launched a revamped version of its flagship called the HTC U11. This device is bigger, bolder and possibly better than the U11 but, with a hefty price tag and some very strong competition coming soon. Is this really the phone to buy in 2018? Let's take nothing away from HTC as the U11 looks absolutely fabulous. With a striking black liquid surface glass case this is probably one of the sexiest smartphones you can buy. It also feels impeccably made and, despite being one of the worst devices for showing mucky fingerprints, you can't help falling for its exquisite looks. This appeal is improved even further by water-resistant casing and the inclusion of a very good 6-inch Quad HD display which now covers almost the entire front of the phone. Wednesday, February 14, 2018 By ditching the large bezels, HTC has managed to cram a much bigger display into a device that's only just bigger than the standard 5.5-inch U11. The U11 dimensions are 158.5 by 74.9 mm compared to the U11's 153.9 by 75.9 mm, and this display is very good with colors looking punchy, vibrant and certainly good enough to enjoy a spot of Netflix clicks on the mover spending time browsing the web. However, with HTC using LCD technology rather than AMOLED, it can't quite match the sheer eye-popping visuals of rival devices from Apple, Samsung and LG, although watching content on the screen might not quite be up there with the best. Listening to the audio is as good as anything we've heard before. HTC continues to offer brilliant audio via its boom sound speakers with the U11 offering one of the best experiences to date. There's also good news for those who get fed up with terrible battery life as the U11 features a gigantic 3930 mAh battery 30% bigger than the standard U11. This means you'll easily get a day out of it and beyond. So general battery life is good, although during our 6-hour Star Wars trilogy video tests it didnt perform as well as rival devices from Samsung which ended the movie marathon with around double the power of HTC's offering. Express any WSPAPERS HTC U11 has a stunning glass finish. Luckily, HTC has featured Quick Charge 3.0 technology which allows the dev sheet to refill to 50% in under 30 minutes. Along with a large and fast filling battery, the U11 is also pretty slick when it comes to user experience with a Snapdragon 835 processor bringing plenty of power. Everything loads fast and you'll have no issues whizzing in and out of your favorite games, video and social media apps. It is worth noting, however, that a swathe of devices are about to launch in the coming months with Qualcomm's new 845 chip inside them. This will not only make these new flagships more powerful than the U11 but also far more battery efficient. If you think the older Snapdragon 835 is fast enough for your daily needs there is one added bonus of buying an HTC device. The firm has worked hard with Google to create a neat Android interface that's not littered with duplicate apps and bloatware. It's a very smart move from HTC and makes the U11 feel uncluttered and blissfully easy to use. Check out our comparison below, HTC U11 on the left, iPhone 10 right. Another nice feature is the 12MP UltraPixel camera which very capable. Despite the lack of a dual lens system, this latest device takes some excellent images with pictures looking crips and packed with color. We placed it against the market leading iPhone 10, and whilst it didnt capture the same detail as Apple's flagship, it's certainly not far behind. The HMP front facing camera is also good with a 85 degree field of view allowing more to be crammed into your selfies. And don't forget the U11 includes the same interactive edges as the U11 which allows photos to be snapped by simply squeezing the phone. 
This Edge Sense technology also enables you to access any app launch Google's Voice Assistant and Snap Video. Edge Sense is a nice added extra but it is a bit of a gimmick and we're not entirely convinced it's a feature other manufacturers will copy. Express newspapers despite only featuring a single camera the U11 takes excellent photos Express newspapers if you love taking endless movies the U11 comes with a whopping 128 gigabytes of internal memory which can be expanded via an SD card so you should never run out of disk space. So, there's clearly plenty to like about the U11 but, like most things in life, there are some downsides to HTC's latest and greatest smartphone. There's no headphone port, which some users will find hugely infuriating, and HTC ISNT offering the ability to wirelessly charge its phone. The fingerprint scanner has now been moved to rear and, although placed is a decent position, is still not ideal as you have to pick the phone up to unlock it. Unlike Apple and Samsung, HTC HASNT included any facial recognition technology so this rear-mounted sensor is the only way to instantly access the device. Finally there's a bit of an issue with price. The U11 costs £699 and, with no UK networks currently offering HTC's latest device on contract, splashing out all of that money in one hit is the only way to own it right now. Express any WSPAPERS HTC U11 features a water resistant design so what else is missing the problem for HTC is that its upgraded flagship has launched just before the tide of latest devices are about to be unveiled. Samsung, Sony, LG, Nokia and Huawei are all expected to reveal new phones in the coming weeks with all of them likely to include new processors, faster charging, better cameras and improved security. Whilst the U11 is a fully loaded phone we can't help feeling within a few months it could look very dated against all the shiny new competition. Express newspapers the HTC U11 is not available to buy on contract there really is nothing wrong with the HTC U11 and there's actually plenty to like. This new device looks good, has a nice screen and very capable camera. Battery life is also pretty good and we still love HTC's stripped-down Android which makes it far less confusing to use. If this phone had launched 18 months ago we would probably be telling you rush out now and buy one immediately. There's no question that HTC are getting back to the best and producing some stunning smartphones but U11 probably ISNT the phone to buy in 2018, not only are Samsung and Sony about to reveal the new phones at Mobile World Congress next weekend but HTC will no doubt be unveiling an all new flagship in the coming months. The fact that it's not available on contract also means you'll have to stump up almost £700 to own one. If you've ordered a U11 don't panic as this is solid phone it's just a little late to the party.